Hi Wade Artists! Today we're going to be creating a polar bear with a hat. Start with your pencil and draw a big rainbow line coming up from the bottom of your paper. Curve it all the way around to the other side. Next draw a smaller rainbow line inside it. You should use your pencil first and then go over it later with Sharpie. Next you will draw two rainbow lines on the side of the head to make the bear's ears. Next, add his eyes. If you'd like your polar bear to be a girl, you can add eyelashes. To make the polar bear's nose, I'm going to draw a flat line across the top and then a curved line underneath. Then fill this shape in with your Sharpie. To make the mouth, make a letter J and then a backwards letter J. You can add a little detail by making a line inside each ear. Now it's time to make the hat. Draw a line going across connecting the ears. Then make another curved line on top and then add a little ball on the top of the hat. Now it's time to add some color to the hat. I'm going to use my markers and create a rainbow pattern. You can use crayon, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have. You can color it however you would like. Now it's time to add a little background. Start by drawing a line on each side of the polar bear's head to create the horizon line. The horizon line shows you where the ground and the sky meet. Next, I'm going to use a white crayon to draw some little snowflakes up in the sky. Press as dark as you can with your white crayon. Now I'm going to add a little blue paint to create the sky. If you don't have paint, I will show you another trick to use in a minute with your markers. Paint over the snowflakes and the wax and the white crayon should push the paint away so that you can still see your snowflakes. If you don't have paint, take your blue marker and color on a piece of foil. Then add a little bit of water and it should make paint for you to use for the background. If you don't have paint or markers or a paintbrush, you could always just color it in with your crayons. Have fun and be creative. I can't wait to see what you come up with.